All right, this is Glitch, Brian Guthrie on Ink Shares, and I'm playing right here to try to take my uh, whack at Inky Plot World Domination. Um, pretty sure you guys will be able to figure out the point of this game. It's jump, grab coins, get as many as you can. All the uh, authors participating in this project that you see in the background are all trying to get the top, oh, get the top score. And what is this project, you, you say? Oh, well, it's just an anthology, you know, a little thing that about 15 authors decided to put it together called Too Many Controllers. You can see the cover down there on your right. And, oh, oh, no, no, no. And I saw that coming. It's really all just random luck, this game. For one thing, the coins are, it's entirely impossible to predict the coins. So yes, this this anthology, oh, there's me, you saw me just go by there, you can see the other names, some really, you know, top of the line authors on Ink Shares. all of them not have other projects, solo projects that they're in the process of getting published. And, when Ink Shares and the Nerdist announced this latest contest about video games, we just thought, hey, we've all got some short stories here. Let's do an anthology. And so that's what we're doing, doing an anthology about, you guessed it, video games. And... Oh, you saw my score, though, 5,600. See, now I don't have to pretend... We've all been kind of frustrated by the fact that we keep managing to not hit print screen and screen capture it. That's it. That's the advantage of video. Oh, that was pathetic. That's the advantage of video. Oh, no. Oh, thought I was going to bite one there. Oh, no, I'm, I'm too short. But yeah, video, you can actually see the score now. So 5,600. I do believe that's my best so far. We'll see. I know that somebody else got at least that high. I think someone got higher. Not on video. I'm trying to get all the authors on video doing this. Come on. Come on, Inky. I think Inky is the name of the character. I didn't... I don't know. Mr. Paul Inman that you just saw go by, he is the... Oh, no. That was just... I did plan that one. Mr. But anyway, Paul Inman, he's the one that made this game, and you can try it out on our Ink Shares page. Go to Ink Shares, search for too many controllers, or just go look at the the contests on there at the Nerdist video game contest and you'll find us sitting at the top number one really close to getting oh not getting getting close to succeeding not doing that and getting our book into the quill level and getting getting published regardless of what happens with the contest that's always just an amazing feeling and accomplishment we are currently 19 readers I mean yeah 19 copies sold from quill so, when posterity looks back on this oh-so-exciting video, oh, I watch just how pathetic I am at this game, they'll know approximately when in the contest and the funding campaign for this book, I played this game. So, come on, you can do it. Oh, J.F. DeBeau, one of my... Uh, he's, I've known him the longest of this group. He's actually the one that brought me to Ink Shares. I know him from another podcast community, the... The Tadpool, shout out to all the Tadpool agents. Hope to see you someday at a uh, Nerdtacular in the fine state of Utah. But yeah, Mr. Uh, J.F. Dubow, he's the, the first author on Ink Shares to get two bucks completely through the funding phase. His second one, he had he started it in a contest, but he got the rest of it through just ah, uh, he got the rest of it through just. Patience and persistence in, in getting pre-orders and copies done with the help from a lot of the people you see on this screen who are also participating in this. Uh, J.F. DuBose's first book was part of a collection, Sword and Laser. Mr. Paul Inman's Ageless is also in that collection. Mr. Hines, he and I were in the, the first Nerdist uh, contest. Well, neither of us made it. Oh, Mr. Tal Klein, he's the first. Everybody should congratulate him. He's the first to make it into the Geek and Sundry collection. 
go Tal, even if you did uh, make give me a second place finish again. But hey, I'm not sad. I'm getting published twice. Yep, twice. Two books. Oh, no. Oh, oh. So there comes a point here where you have to start jumping really early. <laughs> or just not jump at all. And I think I'm past the point where there's uh, coins. So it's like, well, why do you keep going? Well, how far does it go? Oh! I didn't mean to stop there. Really, I didn't. Some of these coins, I mean, the coins placement is just so random. It's hard to actually get them all. I say it so far. I don't think I've missed a single coin. But that's more luck than anything else. Oh! Sometimes it doesn't even matter. You can't keep going. It doesn't matter how many coins you get. Nope. Shouldn't have done that. Should have left that. Sometimes it's good to let the, leave the coins behind. There's a lesson in that. Alright. Let's try this one more time. Can we top 5,600? Can we top 5,600? We can do it. Come on, Iki, we can do it. Come on. I have to leave some of these coins behind. Just no way to get them all. Which means I'm definitely... Pro oh! No! No! <sighs> Why are you still going? I said, no, no more, no more. Stop, stop it. Stop, Inky. Really? <sighs> I really need to talk to Paul about putting a putting a pause feature into this thing. That would be kind of, kind of nice. How far can you go? See, you can't get over 100 by yourself. You need me, Inky. And I'm not, you notice know, I'm not clicking the space bar. Oh, see, here we go. Now he's just going to run into the wall. So, that's where I'm going to leave you. Uh, keep checking out the page for other videos of our... Uh, illustrious authors here taking their shot at this game. There's a video of Paul up already. He's posted it to his YouTube. And this one will be up soon right after that. So, too many controllers. Pre-order.